Honoring the men and women who've served our nation. A thousand thanks from KLBK and Interim Healthcare. Welcome back. The 48th Annual War World War II Glider Pilot Reunion is coming back to the Hub City and one pilot making sure that the experience goes above and beyond for some of our World War II veterans. Our Emily Harrison spoke to the pilot to see what special edition they have this year. People ask me when I'm in uniform, thank you for your service. It's reciprocal. I want to say it was an honor and a privilege because I was serving so that you could be here today. And now Cowden Ward is paying it forward, giving all World War II veterans a free flight on one of the most famous planes used during the war, the P-51 Mustang. All pilots dream to either having one or at least flying one. And when we give a complimentary flight to a World War II veteran, it kind of takes them back when they might have been around flying them, them flying above overhead or some of them have even flown them. If you want to take a ride on a plane like this, it can oh, yeah. cost a considerable amount of money. But Ward says the high price helps keep the planes running and allows the veterans a chance to fly for free. Without you, we wouldn't be able to fly these planes like today. They say thank you for the flight and we have to say, oh, no, 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 no. We thank you for allowing us to be able to fly you. So any World War II veteran brave enough to make the climb is welcome aboard, like Phil Crenshaw, who says he's had this on his bucket list for quite some time. It's predicted that because they're dying at the rate of a 75 a day, that there will be no World War II veterans left by the end of this year. And that has prompted me when I get up in the morning and go out to get the newspaper, the first thing I look at is the obituaries to see if they printed my name by mistake. Horse feathers, I'm gonna go out to the cemetery and plant flowers on all you guys' graves when I'm 113 on Friday the 13th. Emily Harrison, KLBK News.